Do you use Roo for 3x3 and want to get into 4x4? Are you tired of CFOppers telling you that you'll never be good at big cubes? If yes, then look no further. The Mayer method is a Yao variation for, you, for Roo users. The steps are almost the exact same as the Yao method. First two centers, then instead of three, three cross edges, you do a first block, then last four centers, last eight edges, and 3x3 three three stage to finish. With the Mayer method, you can expect to get times almost as fast as top Yao users. All right, that was awkward. Okay, so this video isn't gonna be like a tutorial. It's just gonna be a couple example solves with the Mayer method. Um, the scrambles are gonna be in the description or the comments or on the screen. I don't know, just check one of those places. It'll probably be somewhere there. Uh, that was a misscramble for sure, but whatever, you can just look. Okay, so uh, with Mayer, I do green or blue center because the whichever center you do is going to end up being your first block color. So on this scramble, I'd probably do green because it's easier. So here I see I have this one and this one that's paired up with an R prime, and then I have this one in the back. So I do R prime, and then this would be here, and then I can do an F2. And then I could bring this and pair it up with it here. So R prime would pair those up. F2 puts this here. And then I could pair them up like this. And then I could do D. But before I do the R prime to pair it like this, I would move this here. So that when I bring it down, it makes a bar there. And then I see the last edge, the last uh, pair for the cent blue center is here. And I already know it isn't here and not here. So it's on the back. So I go like this. And then there's first two centers. So I do blue block on this one because I see the first edge right here. So I rotate. There's the first edge. Rotate again. Uh, these two pair. And then the last piece is there. That would pair there. And then that got inserted. So I'd move this here and then do something like that. To pair them up like this. And the last... Uh, edge is here and here and this is already paired with the corner so that's nice so then insert like this and then insert the pair I saw I have this so then I just pair it with this bar and then rotate take this red and then they have to be on the back so pair them up like this bring them down and there's the first two of the last two if that makes any sense at all uh, so I know orange has to be here because orange is opposite red, so I'd make this orange there and then pair them up. Now, the cool part about uh, Mayer is that for the last edge, before you do uh, edge pairing, uh, it can be any random edge. So if there's like an easy edge or there's already an edge solved, you can just toss it in. Uh, in this case, I would probably do this orange thing right in front. So pair them up right here and then restore centers and then put that there. Uh, for edge pairing for Mayer, you can either do it on the M slice like this and then swap pieces like that. Or you can rotate here and do them on the E slice. Uh, the only downside to that is instead of rotating because then you'd mess up the corners, you have to do U wide moves, but that isn't that bad. So. You slice over, just like Yao, there's the first edge, green-orange. Uh, it's back there, which is a bad spot, so then you do the other one, which is this red one. Uh, that's also back there, so you have to take it out and put it here. So this is going to pair when you slice back, but before you do that, uh, you have to make two more pairs, because that's how 3-2-3 works. So I'm looking for this green-orange, and it's here. So just insert, and this red-yellow is right here. Insert that. So now I have three pairs on the E slice, and this one accidentally paired. So then you do, uh, to bring this slot to here, U2, and now you do a two pair. So this green with this, insert it. Lighting sort of weird. There we go. Uh, insert it, and then slice over, and then this, the edge you sliced over was this. So then you want to insert the one that'll make a pair when you slice back. So now you have this pair, and then this one, 
uh, I got a two pair at the end. And then rotate and uh, second block. It's pretty easy. Uh, this CMLL I can't recognize from this angle, so I have to do U2 and then go back. Uh, this edge, I don't know if I have parity or not, which I do, so algorithm. I forgot to check before CMLL, so that's sort of bad. And then LSC, these two edges. This is red, it has to go here, so it's M. Okay, I guess I'll do one more, because that took five minutes, which is a long time. Uh... Yeah, I might do one or two more. I'll go a little faster on this one, though. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss scramble on this one. Okay, so on this, green has a pair and blue has a bar or whatever you want to call it. Uh... Blue's probably easier. Yeah. So I'd preserve this while pairing up the other blue. So this needs to go here so it can pair up with this. So I'd do L2, U2, U wide prime, and then those can match. And then I'd do a U prime to save that. And I see the last two pieces are here and here. So I'd do pair them up here and then just insert them in the top. So now I have my two centers. Rotate, and I'd see this corner pair with this edge. So we have this pair. And then, uh, usually when I have something like this, I try to get this first. So then I'd see these. Pair those up, and then insert these back in. I saw these two, so I'd rotate, pair them. And now I have my first block. Uh, centers, in this case I do half centers, so just like this, and they're set up, because yellow bar here, orange, red bar in the back. Uh, I do yellow first, so this pair, put them on the bottom. Now these two for the front, and white, I have to check the back, it's here, so paired up, and there. Uh, I got lucky here, and there's already an edge built, so I can just do a U to put it there, and start edge pairing. Uh, so I see this green, I'm going to slice over and insert this one. Uh, the red edge is already there, so that's good. Uh, this red-yellow with this red-yellow. So there's th the three first edges. Uh, this one, so I'd, I'd do a two pair, so this with this. And then slice over and then put the green in. So when I slice back, we have a pair and yeah, made that too. So now the last... Three pair, I actually got another skip, so it's just a two pair now. Uh, it's this case where you have to f do the flipping alg. Like that. Uh, there's reduction stage. Now it's just second block. Uh, in second block, you want to do the most two gen stuff as you can, so just don't you do that many end moves. And then right before you do CMLL, check for uh, parity. I didn't do it last time because I forgot. And then do the alg that doesn't preserve corners because it's a lot faster. And then CMLL, last six edges is our normal. Oh, and for parity, if you get PLL parity, uh, usually you can cancel to make it end up here. So then it's like six moves, you don't have to do the weird U2, U2 thing. Like that. Uh, I guess I'll do one more. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the white center would be good for Yao users, uh, yeah, so there's a one move green bar here, this one with this one, but I wouldn't do that because the other piece isn't nice, uh, blue's a lot nicer, so I'd pair this with this with an F prime, and then F U to pair, to make the other bar, and then U R would make this bar, apparently, and the center, so then I'd insert this at the top, and then these two, 
and I'm, I do this from the side so I can get a better look at my uh, first block. Uh, I see these two right away, pair them up like that, and then insert them. Uh, doing that, I saw this edge and this edge, so pair them, and then insert the corner and pair them up in the back like this. And then these two paired by themselves, and then just pair them up with this corner. Uh, have this so I do uh, half centers again. So then uh, there's no white here, but that's okay because I have this. So then I'd solve white half center while doing that. Uh, now I do the, the, what's this color? Yellow, that's what it's called. Like this, and then insert. And I have this orange triangle thing, or L or whatever, and there, that's centers. And if you don't have any pre-built edges, uh, the one to look out for, if it's easy, is the, the one that goes in the bottom right, this screen and this screen. So pair them up, and I put it in like this. Edge pairing, I see this uh, orange-yellow, orange-yellow, and then I don't see the red edge right now, but it's back there, so that's bad. Uh, I guess I just continue like this, and then I'd have to take this out, take this out. So I, I was only able to do two pairs there, which doesn't happen that often, but that's okay. It's still pretty fast. Uh, this needs to, it's a two cycle, it's a switch of these edges, like that. Uh, four edges left, this with this. And I paired these at the same time. Last two have that same case where you have to do a switch. There's reduction, and I remember this was here. So if you put this edge here, uh, you can go straight into second block. Uh, there's second block. I don't have parity this time. CMLL. And last six edges uh, have these two on the bottom, so I put them in. And then I see this is red, and this is going to be orange, so I have parity. And this is what I was talking about. You can cancel into the alg. So uh, while I was doing last six edges, it sort of ended up like this. So instead of doing U2 before, and then doing U2 after, you could just do the alg and not do AUF at all.